On the last day of campaigning here in Brazil, uh, the two frontrunners, the uh, current president, Jair Bolsonaro, and his rival, the former president, uh, Lula, uh, are both heading to Sao Paulo, a hugely important city. It's the economic motor of the country, a city where Lula is currently uh, leading Bolsonaro. But with both men in the same uh, city, uh, the fear is that that could bring supporters of both sides out on the streets, raising fears of violence. Uh, now, perhaps in anticipation of those fears of violence, the electoral authority uh, has decided to ban the carrying uh, of uh, weapons for three days uh, starting from Saturday. And you have to bear in mind that uh, this election campaign has been one of the most divisive and uh, polarised uh, in the history of uh, Brazilian politics. Uh, we've seen little in the way of concrete proposals uh, from both men. Uh, on the other hand, uh, what they have done is hurl insults at each other throughout the campaign. Uh, Lula has called uh, Bolsonaro a, a liar. He's even said he's uh, possessed by the devil. Uh, on the other hand, uh, President uh, Bolsonaro has called uh, Lula a thief uh, and uh, he's uh, called him also uh, an ex -con uh, an ex-convict, uh, referring uh, to the time that Lula spent in prison uh, four years ago. Lula actually uh, running at times what appears to be more of a campaign of nostalgia, reminding voters of the achievements uh, he uh, made when he was first in office, uh, lifting millions of Brazilians out of uh, poverty. Uh, Bolsonaro on, on the the other hand, uh, painting Lula out to be a communist threat. So uh, we can expect to see uh, both men ramping up the rhetoric uh, uh, on the last day uh, of campaigning ahead of uh, Sunday's vote.